Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Season 11. I've made a lot, a lot of progress since the last episode. I'm up to Paragon 573. Um, got a new shield, got a couple of other items new. I switched to this ring so that I'm now dealing 92% increased damage to slowed enemies or triple that to enemies affected by any other type of control impairing effect. I also removed my simplicity strength and replaced it with Bane of the Trapped so that anything within 15 yards is slowed by 30%. So anything within 15 yards I'm automatically doing the 92% increased damage plus the ring or the gem gives me increased damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects by 33 percent so i've got a good amount of bonus damage to enemies there changed a couple of things with my skills this is the same this is the same this is the same same This is the same, or I might have I did change that one a couple times, but I've placed it back on Land of Plenty so I get healed. This one I've got set to Blighted Grasp rather than Unconventional Warfare. I've got Rathmus Shield so that I can't lose life for four seconds after Land of the Dead, Army of the Dead, or Simulacrum, which I'm using Land of the Dead and Army of the Dead. And I've got Rigor Mortis, which makes poison abilities slow enemies by 30% and reduces their attack speed by 30% for 5 seconds. Then, in the cube, still have this weapon, still have this ring, but I've got Fate's Vow, which gives Army of the Dead the unconventional warfare rune. So I've got the poison rune on it, plus it still does the randomly hits things for 55,000% weapon damage. I believe that's how much it was. Oh, 50,000% weapon damage. Plus I've got the poison one. Um, set another new record. 71 in 14 minutes and 29 seconds. So I'm doing pretty damn good here. I think I'm going to be able to make it to 75 this season. I've finished everything here except for completing a conquest. I can't remember if this is the one I had before or not. This might be a new one. I think it is a new one. Um, I think I got a new helmet since the last episode. But yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm going to try for a 70, see if I can do that. Depends on how how much recording will slow my slow down my computer because sadly that makes a big difference in these ones. So far it's not looking good. I will die in this, most definitely. That is not possible. But because I completed a seventy solo. 
there's now a chance for primal legendaries to drop, or it might be primal ancient legendaries. I don't remember if they had to be ancient to be a primal. I believe they did. I believe it was primal ancient not. legendary items, which are even more powerful than ancients. But you have to complete a solo level 70 in order to have those even be possible to drop. I'm afraid not. Pushing myself pretty hard. <laughs> I spent literally all day yesterday on here. I must wait longer. In the past two days, I think I've. I think I've gone up by. Eleven or twelve greater rift levels, which may not seem like a lot, but at this point, where it's when I'm up to sixties and seventies, that's a that's a decent increase there. Fuck. Yeah, it looks like it's slowing it down a bit too much for me to. No. To fight as well as I need to. No. I might be able to do it depending on what I get for pylons. And depending on who the Drift Guardian is. where every little thing counts and just this little bit of a slowdown from recording at the same time might make it enough that I can't finish this one. That is not possible. react fast enough when the computer's when it's running slowly like this. I'm afraid not. and pulses keep getting me. Or the mortar. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this one. Shit. It's surprising how much of a difference that makes. that little bit of a slowdown makes on this. I have long waited for this moment. Might be able to pull this off. Again, depends on pylons and the guardian. No. Okay, I'm gonna wait until I've got the thing to get me. No. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? You will make a fine call. How did you still kill me even though I hit that the moment I touched the pylon? I'm afraid not. the types of enemies I fight all affect how well I can do it here as well. Because certain enemies, like these things, will latch onto you and they'll go right past minions. And when I'm relying on my minions to do a lot of fighting, or most of the fighting. I need them to be able to stop enemies. I mean, my minions can keep enemies from reaching me. That four seconds doesn't last nearly long enough when you need it to. Still a possibility I can do this. A shield pylon would be extremely helpful. I'm afraid not. level. If 
if I can get a shield pylon, I might be able to pull ahead and complete this. Like that. Density stays high in this part. Because these levels tend to have lower mob density a lot of times, which screws you over too. That is not possible. I'm not going to complete this one. that targets me in one shot me all the time, then I'm screwed. stuff got destroyed so I can't can't fight I have to resurrect in town I almost did it I almost made it <laughs> that little bit of a slowdown from the recording is all it took to screw me over hey lady I got some I music. heard you came here from Tristram my family came from there been able to stay alive for like two more seconds I would have done it my name is Ash when the did you have a gem of sufficient quality yes. I need to go back damn it that sucks because that was that was very close if I had gotten a different guardian even, I might have been able to do it. Well, 38 seconds over, so if, yeah, if I hadn't died that last time, I would have done it. Wow, that sucks. I still got experience for it. And I still got items. I have yet to see a primal item, so I'm looking forward to finding my first one of those. Hopefully it'll be something I can use.
you look like you could use a new item of uh, indeterminate usefulness. Well, isn't that nice? Let's see if I can get an ancient. What a steal! Don't forget, luck always changes. Nemesis bracers. Uh, that's actually a small increase, but not enough to make it worth switching off of those. I'm almost certain I'll be able to. Please look, you won't be disappointed. Um, I'm almost certain I'll be able to hit a 75 this season. I might no, that's way too much of a drop in recovery. I don't need that much recovery considering I'm being killed in one hit pretty much by everything, so the way I see it, recovery's not that important at this time, but still. I don't want to lose any more than I already have from changes I've made. But uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'll just end this one here. There's not really much I could do in the time I have left. Huh. You know what? Let's run a vault. I might be able to do this. Again, maybe not with the slowdown from recording, but I should be able to do it. I'm afraid not. Just about all I'll have to worry about is the fight with greed. All I'm really going to have to worry about is the fight with greed in here. Which could prove difficult. I've been full clearing Torment 13 rips for a little while today, and the one I got 23 legendaries from it, and not a single one was useful at all. That just sucks when you do when that happens. Twenty-three of them and none of them were useful. That was a lot of them. Maybe not. I was seeing a lot of those gems, too. Really not a single legendary from those things? A 
I'll leave behind the blue items. But yeah, I was I was definitely right when I said this is going to be my most powerful character. This has become my strongest character I've ever had. Not in the stats that it shows when not in these stats that it shows, but just in my straight up, in my pure ability to kill things, this is most definitely my strongest. By far my strongest character. Torment 13, and I killed Greed that fast. There is no room. Really, none of these are socketed. Oh well. I am One item, not that big of a deal. That went fast, too. That's the thing, this necromancer, this build especially, seems to be extremely fast at killing things. Or it doesn't seem to be, it is. It's extremely fast at killing things. bottomless portion of cool aid drinking cool aid allows you to burst through walls summoned by waller elites for five seconds <laughs> then I've got 275 Blood shards I can spend. You look like you could use a new item of. Uh... Oh, that's nice. Can I have it back? That will look nice on you. Nope. I've got 39. I can upgrade one more. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode. Holy shit. 208 million. Nice. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.